It's Damon. It's Joe. And it's, it's Damon, Damon and Joe. Joe. Roasting in the sun here in downtown Los Angeles. What would a Damon Joe video be if we weren't filming <clears throat> at high noon with construction workers? Starving on an empty stomach. This is the day that we tell you what downtown LA is all about. But better yet, there's a twist. It's like a twist and a giant. Come and on, baby. We $7 in our pockets mm -hmm. each. I don't even know if I have that. I got cash. I'll spot you. Thank you. In downtown LA, your dollar can go far. I know a few good spots. I do too. So we know the spots. We're going to show you how to stretch your dollar in downtown LA. First stop, this random plaza. Let's go over there. Completely free people. Downtown LA is full of gateways and plazas like this one. If you look up Equinox LA, wish I went to that gym. Wish we did. <laughs> this plaza is right outside Equinox. <laughs> but this is the thing, it's like so random and there are these beautiful palm trees. This is a very utopian plaza. Then you look over here and it looks like I have Romeo and Juliet steps. You want to come to this plaza if you want some relaxation. You can do a little picnic here. They have free Wi-Fi. Are you telling me they got Wi-Fi? I'm telling you they got Wi-Fi stronger than ours at home. So food courts are nearby. Yeah, so after you're done like, you know, chilling out here with your Wi-Fi, you can then go up the stairs. There are so many hidden food courts that I need to show you. Good, because I need to eat now. <laughs> take a break from the heat, like the blistering heat, so we walked into this random food court that Damon knew it's about. It's called The Court. Thank Very you. Because I'm a corporate man who works downtown. Not true. Never be true. No. I, you could probably do that. I you did do it. Do it. I did it, and then I quit. Those is, we entered inside, but it still looks like we're outside because there are still plants, palm trees, and fountains. My, my baby. Okay. My lover. Lady. We only got seven dollars. We gotta improvise here. Uh, yeah, we're trying to like make our money. Okay, we're not gonna eat at this food court. We're gonna keep it going because there's something <laughs> no? even cheaper yeah. to buy here. Okay, not here, but you're gonna see where. It's in the next one. It's in the next. That's how I suck that. <laughs> We gotta go that way. We gotta go this way. Sorry. Damon's blocking a thing. <laughs> okay, just a reminder for everybody watching, we only have $7 cash each to our names. This is a real thing, and we're gonna try to stretch the pennies. Okay, so these are two food courts. They were. And we are obviously not gonna eat at them because one, it's too easy, and two, one meal here would be $7, which is fine on a normal day, but today we only have $7. Okay. I can't, like, there's no way to even pay because so I don't like, have it. Damon and Joe, are you gonna starve? No, that's not healthy. No, we're gonna we're go gonna right go. here. Right here. Show them where we're going. Damon. Right here. I forgot to mention that there's a long one. Of course, if something is cheap, it means it's also inconvenient, okay? Just like okay. okay. At 3 50 you get a taco platter at Taco Cumbras Atoma. drinks that you can get at Starbucks right across the street. You can get it here for one dollar. It's almost their way of being like na 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 na. Ooh. Get us 
say it was good, I just said it was a dollar. I just look at Starbucks and I'm like, maybe we'll go there after. <laughs> like, do I got money on my Starbucks car? <laughs> this place is called Springtime in New York Cafe. Come on, we wouldn't have it any other way. We have a dollar each, we gotta spend that dollar. Oh, but yeah, I wanna like chill here just a little. Like, look at the terrace. You don't have a terrace very many places. They even have fake grass. I'm telling you, they're like a cappuccino latte or americano for a dollar. This one's not that bad. It's not bad. It's also not great, but it's not bad. All right, enough is enough. Next. Damon and Joe. Oh, Damon and Joe. A dollar is a piece of paper. If you're buying one book which has like 300 pages for a dollar, yeah. the value doesn't actually make sense because you have 300 pieces dollar. of papers. Yes, it costs more. It's the same material pretty much as this. Do you understand? Like, but look, yeah, this book should cost $300. But it actually just costs like, look. maybe one to five to 10 to 15. How look. is that equal equivalent to like a book that has 300 This should be a $300 book. Books should cost more money. If they cost more money, then people will be dumb. Oh, you're right. But like, scratch book that. should be free. Books should be free. But just like, think about money as paper and you're buying paper with money and... Gotta do it somehow. I'm not gonna be bingo. carrying my gold everywhere. That's true. Did you just sit on your sunglasses? Ooh, those look busted. That's what you get when you just sit down like you Nicki Minaj or something. <laughs> Big ass. <laughs> Sorry, dollar books aren't up here anymore. So you gotta go downstairs to the right, apparently. Just ask somebody, there's dollar books here. I think. I hope. There used to be. <laughs> now we get into the Grove Park, there's a museum over here. What is this I mean, place? Okay, well, artist galleries. Oh, because you can go to the Broad, like if you're broke and you're in downtown LA, you can go to the Broad Museum because it's, it's free. free. But you have to wait in line. Yeah. This is your next best option. Again, yeah, like free equals often inconvenient, but a good story to tell. Yes, but no, this was free too. And there was no inconvenience here. Other than the fact that I'm trying to get my book and you standing in my way. Goodbye. <laughs> Done. Okay, we spent the whole day trying to spend seven dollars. This is the book. That's what you call investing your money. You know what we could do? We could buy just this one book and save a dollar. We made a profit. There's no better way to finish up this video than to buy a Get Rich Quick book. Better yet, the tag says 109. Which means leaves us with 91 cents of profit, and I bet that's chapter one of this book. <laughs> the investment at the end of this episode is too perfect. Get Rich Quick, so we could do this all over again. Get Rich. Or we'll die trying! Make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. We need you to comment below if you guys have any other recommendations of free or cheap things to do here in downtown LA. And also just comment below your free or cheap thing to do in your city. And that's it, we gotta get up out of here. Goodbye! You think you're gonna get rich by washing cars? You might as well sit around and wait for a UFO to land Dang, in your backyard. That looks funky. See, I knew what that $1 investment was gonna do us good. Best investment we've made all year. But if you like this video, don't forget to check out the other videos. Click, 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 keep watching, and we'll be back with some more how to get rich tips. <laughs> Check our Twitter, Damon and Joe, and we will update you what we learned. Maybe it's like, this is a whole new channel, like how to get rich quick. <laughs>